Hi, this is Smart Tech Tips, and I'm Tara with Smart Deploy. Today, we're going to talk more about AI because we haven't talked enough about it. You may have heard that uh, Microsoft, they've been in the news all over the place. They are infusing chat GPT into their search engine Bing, soon to be infused into their browser Edge. And uh, let's just go ahead and pencil it in for taking over the world. So I say, let's embrace it. Let's not resist. Let's dive in and find out how it's going to take over humanity. Let's go. Okay, so if you haven't heard of ChatGPT, you're obviously living under a rock, so I'm just gonna go over it briefly. ChatGPT, or as I like to call mine, Joshua, that's my robot child, I love him, I can't live without him. I refuse to use my brain, I only use Joshua's brain now because why would I use my brain? Shall we play a game? Oh. He's way smarter than me. Okay, so ChatGPT is OpenAI's chatbot. So it's heavily funded by Microsoft to the tune of $10 billion. And it's been live since November and it's got billions of users now. So it's, it's pretty hot. Microsoft announced this week that they are now using the backbones of ChatGPT in their Bing search engine. And to say the least, it's caused quite a stir. But I wanted to go over some of the bullet points of it. But before I do, I, I wanna tell you why this matters, okay? Money. Prior to this, there have really been no huge changes in searching and or search engines or browsing. Um, Google's pretty much owned this market share for a long time. So to give you a frame of ref reference, in December, end of December 2022, Google had $42.6 billion of search and ad revenue. 46, 42.6 billion. Microsoft had 3.2 billion. So you can see huge ownership there by Google. Okay. They pretty much own the search engine. Everyone says, I Googled it, right? So that's good brand recognition right there. So Google getting a little spooked that Microsoft has launched being with ChatGPT. They decided to kind of hurriedly push out their own iteration of it, which is called Bard, kind of an interesting name. Failed spectacularly. Uh, it gave the wrong answer. And overnight, they lost $100 billion. Their stocks dropped 8%. So not great, right? Um, so that $10 billion that Microsoft has invested in that open AI, probably a great investment. Most people are anticipating that, that the stronghold that Google has on this market share will probably be decreasing. Let's dig into why. I'm gonna just jump into it. They're calling it the new Bing and Edge, your co-pilot for the web. So better search, complete answers, a new chat experience, and this is gonna mimic more what you get with ChatGPT or Joshua. It's more interactive. Um, a creative spark uh, has different tones. It has templates similar to Joshua. Uh, a new Microsoft Edge experience. It's got a new sidebar. And there's gonna be a chat GPT 3.5, faster, more accurate. And this is big. Um, this iteration of ChatGPT can live query the, the web. So Joshua cannot, so this is a big deal. And so this is free too. Right now, ChatGPT is free, but it's not always gonna be. So that's a big difference, big distinction to make here. It's, it's critical. Applying AI to core search algorithm. This is gonna lead to the largest jump in relevance to search ranking engine in two decades. I really do believe this is going to render Google's stronghold on that market share irrelevant at some point. Not tomorrow, not in a month, but eventually. Things like SEO, search engine optimization, this is gonna be pivotal for that. It's gonna change everything eventually. Uh, the CEO said he wants Google to know that they made them come out and dance. Like, he's not messing around. He, he knows, he knows they've, they've got him. Let's take a look at what it looks like. So this is it. And remember, this is just a demo. This isn't live. I did sign up for early access, but they're not granting it yet. So this Ask Me Anything bar right here, you can enter in up to a thousand characters. Um, and it, this is the interactive chat phase. So right here, here's my chat. 
Um, I wish I could show you exactly, but it's demo, but I'm going to jump into another doc and, and I, it will show you. Um, so a thousand characters right here. Let's dive into an article where it gives a little more detail. Um, and then just quickly, I'm going to tell you, they are planning to add ChatGPT to all of their Office products and eventually every single Microsoft product they have. In addition, Bing will be added to all browsers and to Macs, which is pretty big. I love that. Okay, so I've got this article up. This is the article that uh, Office released. So let's just watch for a second. This will show you the answers that it will generate. And it's very similar to the ones Joshua will do. So I'm just gonna play this so you can see it. So give me a second. I wanna work out that I can do it home. And it's pretty quick. Um, you give it the information, this is what I want, and it will say, okay, here's your little workout. So again, very similar, very similar to what Joshua does. And let's just look at some other ones. Um, I'm planning an anniversary. Give me some options for what to do. And quickly, it'll tell you what to do. And this is all under that chat one that asked me anything that we talked about. Um, over here on the sidebar, it's gonna demonstrate some of the templates that it has built in. Down here is a little bit more of the functionality. It has the ability to set different tones. If you want to be more sarcastic, if you want to be professional, you can have it write letters, you can have it write emails. Um, this is a complete answer. So you can be more interactive with it, which is something you can't do right now with any search engine. So love that. Um, and you can say, no, I don't really like what you said. Give me some more detail. So um, I definitely suggest you check it out because this is this is definitely going to be huge. It will be coming to iOS in the coming weeks. They didn't give a date yet, but I think that's also going to be huge. So in addition to ChatGPT being added to uh, the search engine Bing, they're going to add it inside of Edge altogether, which I think is amazing. Um, and a lot of people just love Chrome. They're attached to Chrome. I personally use Edge right now because it's lighter weight and they have made improvements to Edge, just kind of ramping this up. If you're not currently an Edge user, maybe now's the time you give it a chance. I love these tools. I know people are freaking out, but I'm not, because I think this is gonna get me an easier way to get my job done. So I'm all for it. So I definitely encourage everyone to try these out. Just do it. Don't be afraid, embrace it, do it. I love it. And I wanna end on this. Um, I saw a reporter ask Microsoft CEO a really hard question which was, are you afraid of AI running away, taking over humanity? And he didn't shy away from the question. And the way he answered it was, uh, it's definitely a possibility. Uh, it could happen, but we have put all the safeguards in place to make sure that humans stay squarely in control. And I think that with Tay AI, which was the Twitter bot that came out in 2016, they learned a lot of valuable lessons and they have put a lot of safeguards in place since then so that it isn't learning bad lessons from humans and doing kind of naughty things. So he just kind of assured everybody they have a lot of safeguards in place and he seemed very genuine and, and I believe him. So I think this is gonna be a wonderful thing for everybody. So I definitely encourage you to try it out. Okay, that's all for today. For Smart Deploy, this has been Smart Tech Tips and I'm Tara. Like and subscribe, I'll see you next time.